to go, are you? I am, Ollie. I'm supposed to go to my auntie's house, but wouldn't it be cool to go swimming in the ocean? Going where we're told can be hard. It's true. God's way is always the best way for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Today we have another two specials to choose from. Do you want to see? Ta-da! You can choose a strawberry sparkles cupcake or a pumpkin party cupcake. Which one would you choose? This one or that one? Ooh, good choice. Do you know what? Today's story is all about choices too. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Jonah. God had a special job for Jonah. God told Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh to tell the people who lived there to do what God says and love one another. But Jonah did not want to go to Nineveh. Jonah had a choice to make. Should he do what God says and go to the city? Or should he get on a boat and run away? What do you think he should do? Okay, let's see what he does. Oh no, he got on the boat. He's running away. Jonah did not do what God said. God loved Jonah and knew what was best for Jonah. So God sent a storm while Jonah was on the boat. Let's make a storm, ready? Everyone pat your legs to make raindrops. Good, now do it faster. It rained harder and harder. Now wave your arms to make the wind. The boat blew this way and that way. Okay, whew. You can put your arms down now. Everyone on the boat was scared. Jonah knew that God sent the storm for him. So he wanted to get off the boat to keep the other people safe. Jonah told the men to help him get in the water and the storm would stop. While Jonah was in the water, God sent a big fish to swallow him up. Jonah was safe inside the fish's big belly, but inside of a fish's belly is not where he wanted to be. So Jonah chose to pray and talk to God about it. Jonah told God he was sorry and that he would do what God said because God knows what is best. 
Everyone say, yay for Jonah! Yay for Jonah! Three days went by. Let's count them. Ready? One day, two days, three days. And then God made the fish spit Jonah out. Everyone say, whoa! <laughs> whoa! Then God told Jonah again, go to Nineveh. What do you think Jonah did this time? Did Jonah go to Nineveh? Or did he stay on the beach? Let's see. Yes! Jonah did what God said and he went to Nineveh. And it was amazing! The people in Nineveh believed God and they all chose to do what God said because God knows what is best. God knew what was best for Jonah and God knows what is best for us too. Way to go, Jonah! <laughs> did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who knows what's best for you? God knows what's best for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who knows what's best for you? God knows what's best for me. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. God knows what's best for you, you, and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! Jonah didn't go God's way at first, but he learned that God's way is the best way. And God knows what's best for us, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Going to my auntie's house is the best way to go. I do not want to miss out on my auntie's apple pie. I'm going to tell my little cousins the story of Jonah, so they know God's way is the best way for them, too. See you next time!